हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रोस्ट प्रोटेक्शन दैट इज हाउ वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट प्लांट्स फ्रॉम द फ्रोस्ट दैट इज अ मेट्रोलॉजिकल इवेंट सो इंट्रोडक्शन Technically the word frost refers to the formation of ice crystals on the surface either by the freezing of the dew or a phase change that is from vapor to ice took place that is we can say according to geography this is the definition uh, but whenever we talk about biology it is a meteorological event when crops and the other plants experience a freezing injury okay so this is the frost there are basically two types of frost first is radiation and second is advection in radiation there is a clear and calm situation inversion is present temperature is more than 0 degree celsius and that occurs during the day time so what is a inversion inversion represents a layer of the atmosphere in which the temperature gets warmer the higher you go okay so a variety of conditions can cause inversions uh, okay for example that is during the night time inversion we can say so here when a layer of cooler air is trapped near the ground okay by a layer of warm air above the surface so that is inversion and second is advection so windy winds are flowing we can say uh, no inversion is there temperature is less than 0 uh, degree celsius and during the day only okay so there are basically two types of methods for the protection of frost that is we can say we can uh, protect plants from the frost by two methods first is the passive protection of the plants and second is the active protection of the plants so first is the passive protection of the plants so it includes the methods that are implemented before a frost night to help avoid the need for the active protection that is a uh, passive protection is the method which is implemented before the occurrence of the frost we can say okay so it will help to tackle the frost more effectively okay first is, uh, we can say process or the method under the passive protection is the site selection and the management that is growers are usually aware that some spots are more prone to the frost damage than others that is a grower should be aware of the site and based on the site uh, selection the uh, particular plant should be grown there and its management is also necessary that is low spots in the local topography have the colder temperature and hence more damage should be observed there that is at low altitude so when selecting a site in a region that is prone to frost avoid the planting on organic soil okay uh, so this is a chart basically the methods of frost protection active protection that is involved of heaters wind machines helicopters sprinklers surface irrigation foam insulation and the combination methods were there and in case of passive that is the site selection and management cool air drainage plant selection canopy trees plant nutrition management pest management proper pruning plant covers avoiding the soil cultivation irrigation removing the cover crops soil covers trunk painting and the wraps and bacteria control etc so so uh, solution for that is that is planting the deciduous crops on the slopes facing away from the sun okay delays the spring time bloom and often it provide the protection uh, to them from the frost the next is the cold air drainage that is once the cold air drainage flow pattern is known that is in which direction the cool air is going to move okay or flow we can say then the proper placement of the diversion obstacles that is uh, where we can say there uh, were some obstacles we can put there so that they can provide a high degree of protection uh, that is they can change the flow of air etc trees bushes mounds of the soil stacks of hay and fences are used to control the air flow these are the obstacles uh, around the agricultural areas and proper placement can affect the potential for the frost damage that is it can change the amount of damage or we can say it can decrease the amount of damage that should be happen by the frost 
सो इफ अ क्रॉप ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट इन अ कोल्ड स्पॉट द लैंड लेवलिंग कैन इम्प्रूव द कोल्ड एयर ड्रेनेज दैट इज लैंड शुड बी वी कैन से अडोप्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट पैटर्न रो लाइन्स इन द ऑर्चार्ड एंड द विनियार्ड्स आल्सो वर्क दैट इज बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग रो लाइन्स ओके दिस विल आल्सो हेल्प दैम फ्रॉम द फ्रॉस्ट ओके प्रोटेक्शन then the next is the plant selection that is it is important to choose the plants that bloom late okay so reduce the probability of damage due to the freezing that is we we should not choose the plants that is their blooming time during the frost period only okay and to select the plants that are more tolerant of the freezing so that will help for example deciduous plants that have a later bud break and flowering they should be utilized here then canopy trees that is shade trees are used to protect the other plants from the frost damage that is uh, lower plants can be uh, protected from the frost by the shade trees above them example intercrop planting of the citrus and the date palms okay so date palms prevent them from the frost then plant nutrition management that is unhealthy trees are more susceptible to the frost damage that is there are more chances of damaging and fertilization improves the plant health that is by addition of the fertilizers so nitrogen and phosphorus fertilization before a frost encourages growth and decreases the susceptibility to frost damage then the pest management so the application of pesticide is known to increase the frost damage that is we should not apply the pesticides okay and application should be avoided shortly before the frost season then the proper pruning so double pruning is often beneficial because resource wood is still available for the production following a damage so we should avoid pruning but late pruning is also recommended for certain plants then plant covers so plant row covers are warmer than the clear sky and hence increase the downward long wave radiation that is uh, warm waves uh, we can say can come along at night in addition to reducing the conventional heat losses to the air so this will also protect the plants from the forest frost then avoiding the soil cultivation so soil cultivation creates air spaces in the soil okay? okay so and it should be avoided during the frost prone period so we should not uh, do the cultivation of soil then irrigation so when soils are dry there are more air spaces we can say okay uh, in the soil which inhibit the heat transfer and the storage therefore in dry years frost protection is improved by wetting the dry soils that is we should dry the soils okay irrigate them to protect the plants it is best to wet dry the soil well in advance of the frost event okay so that sun can warm the soil easily then the removing cover crops that is removal of the cover crops that is by vegetation will enhance the radiation absorption by the soil that is we should remove the excess weeds or the vegetation which is not necessary or we can say suitable at that period of time from the field which improves the energy transfer and the storage so the most effective method is to use herbicides to kill the flower vegetation then the soil cover so plastic covers are often used to warm the soil and increase the protection vegetative mulches are used during the dormancy of the tree crops to help the prevent damage to the roots due to freezing and soil having so besides plastic cover we should use vegetative mulches okay the leftovers of the trees or the vegetation so that this will help then the trunk painting and the wrap so these decrease the late winter cambial temperature due to the daytime radiation okay which improves the hardiness then bacteria control so ice formation process is initiated by ina bacteria commonly uh, pesticides that is copper compounds are used to kill the bacteria or competitive non ice nucleation active that is nina bacteria are applied to compete with and reduce the concentration of the ina bacteria so we should use that to control the ice producing bacteria then the active protection method so these methods are done during a frost night that is at the we can say uh, 
ऑन स्पॉट ऑफ द फ्रॉस्ट ओके टू मिटिगेट द इफेक्ट ऑफ द सब जीरो टेम्परेचर सो देर आर वेरियस मैथड फर्स्ट इज द हीटर्स दैट इज यूज ऑफ हीटर्स सो दे प्रोवाइड द फ्रीज प्रोटेक्शन बाय डायरेक्ट रेडिएशन टू द प्लांट्स अराउंड दैम एंड बाई कोजिंग कन्वेक्टिव मिक्सिंग ऑफ एयर विद इन द इन्वर्जन लेयर दैट इज कूलर एंड वार्मर एयर गेट मिक्सड एयर सो दैट इफेक्ट इज वेरी लेस ऑफ द कूलर एयर वैन हीटर्स आर ऑपरेटेड हीटेड एयर राइजेज okay as it rises it cools until it reaches the height where the ambient air has the same temperature so the same temperature is uh, okay obtained then the air spread out and eventually the air descends again it comes down a circulation pattern much like that of a gravity furnace is created here if the inversion is weak the heated air okay cools but it rises too high and a circulation pattern is not produced there so as a result heaters are we can say less efficient when there is no inversion that is during the advection type of frost okay so generally heaters should be evenly distributed over the crop that is being protected however they should be concentrated somewhat more on the edge of the up slope or the upwind side of the crop okay so considerable time is needed to light the heater so sufficient time is needed to finish lighting all of the heaters before the temperature falls to critical level so uh, we should start heating uh, lightening the heaters before uh, sometime before the actual we can say frost condition appears making the fires too hot will also make heaters less effective because the heated air rises above the inversion ceiling on circulation pattern and is not created then so this is a diagram for the heaters okay so these are the trees or we can say plants here an inversion of wind is created the heated air rises and then again it comes down okay descend down and it creates a circulation of air uh, these are the temperatures representing in degree celsius and height then wind machine so these provide the protection by increasing the downward sensible heat flux density the fans mix the warm air uh, aloft with the colder air near the surface so here fans are used okay so the amount of the protection afforded depends on the unprotected inversion strength how much inversion should be there depends on the condition okay so when using the wind machine for the freeze protection the fan should be started while the temperature measured at about 1.5 meter that is we can see 5 feet height is about the critical okay damage temperature and before the 1.5 meter height temperature falls much okay below the 10 meter that is 33 fit high temperature so this is the wind machine that is use of wind machines and now helicopters so helicopters move warm air from the aloft in an inversion to the surface if there is a little or no inversion then helicopters are again ineffective the area covered by a single helicopter it depends on the helicopter size and the weight and the weather condition so a helicopter should pass over the entire crop every 30 minute okay it should make a complete round during the mild freeze and more often during severe freezes only so on the sides of the hills downward heat transfer propagate down slope after reaching the surface so a ground crew should monitor the temperature in the crop and communicate with the pilot where the flights are needed actually so this is a diagram that is in the first case uh, without wind machine so this is this that is uh, temperature is this that is we can say 5.0 degrees celsius and in the second case that is with the uh, help of wind machine that is of a particular height the temperature is zero so this is the use of wind machines then sprinklers so the energy consumption of sprinklers is less than that used in heaters so here operational cost are also low also the labor requirement is less and is non polluting main disadvantages are here of sprinklers that is high installation cost is required large amount of water is needed and nutrient leaching condition can occur then the surface irrigation so protection is provided by the conversion 
of latent to the sensible heat from the cooling water that is both convection of air warmed by the water uh, okay and the upward radiation are enhanced so surface irrigation should be started early enough that the water reaches the end of the field before the air falls to the critical damage temperature that is um, below zero temperature we can say so as it moves down the field the water cools so the run of water should not be recirculated warmer water provides more circulation so this is a diagram showing the upward long wave radiation from the flood water as it cools moving down a field during a frost so this is the movement of the water okay then the last method is the foam insulation that is its application increase the minimum temperature on the leaf surfaces of the low growing crops by as much as 10 degree celsius over the unprotected crops but its protection is best on the first night and it go to decreases with the time so it is not much effective so yeah this is all about the frost protection methods of the plants hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel